as I am when I'm on the top. God's wanting Elijah to see that I am God, not just when it's big, I'm God, and when it's small, I'm always God. And, he, and he's showing Elijah that you can't rest in big moments. Hi you guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. I'm currently sitting here on this beautiful Sunday. I am getting a word from um, Pastor McMinnis at, at wordofgodministries.com, one of the churches that I used to go to when I was back home. I love him. He's really sweet and he can really break the word down to you if you're one of those people that are not really... Um, you know, um, well versed in the Bible. Um, so yeah, here I'm just sitting here going through Pinterest. I'm working on my February calendar. I know we're halfway midway through February and I haven't done my calendar yet, but Valentine's Day is such a cute day, cute month for Valentine's um, Day stickers, planner stickers. And I wanted to just go ahead and just kind of do it just to have like a little cute planner for February. So yeah, here I'm just currently saving pictures from Pinterest. I am cropping them in um, the Good Notes app. And then I'm just taking them and dragging them to where I want them to go. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a tutorial on how to do this on um, YouTube. So if you're interested in checking out um, how to do planner stickers, just Google it. It's really easy, it's easy peasy. It takes about two seconds, and you don't have to pay for them. You are a victim. You won't care what you type. You won't care what you text. You won't care what you write. You won't even care what you do. Why? Because I'm a victim. Therefore, I'm justified in this behavior. With this planner, I got it from Etsy. It it has a monthly planner section, but it also has a daily planner section to where you can write out your to-do list to-do list for the day and also write out your schedule. Um I will try to find this if they still have it and link it down below. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pack my work bag. Um I just decided to tote, do a tote bag instead of doing a backpack because I just realized that I was toting too many things. So I can put everything in this tote bag, including my laptop, my wallet, you know, my keys, all the other essentials that I use for work instead of toting two or three different bags, including my work, my lunch bag. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pack this and get it ready for Monday morning. All right, you guys, this is today's outfit. I am wearing a blue sweatshirt, blue jeans, a brown belt, and I have my hair, rocking my natural hair with this brown headband. I was gonna wear a silver one, but it broke, so, but I think the brown goes better with my belt. I'm about to, um, <coughs> oh my goodness, the coffin is real. Okay, I'm about, and I got my Apple Watch and my little um, friendship bracelet. So I am about to head out to work. We have a meeting today, and um, I don't have to pack a lunch because it's a lunch meeting. So, yeah, I get to eat for free today. I may stop and get some Starbucks or something. I don't know. We have a coffee bar at work, so it really doesn't make sense for me to make coffee, even though I like making my own coffee at home. So yeah, we're about to head out. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I hope everyone has a great week. I put on some lashes in this cluster lashes last night, but I took them off because I was like, I just couldn't do it. They just didn't. The ones I bought felt really cheap and I felt like they were going to irritate my eye. So I just ripped them back off, but I am going to do some lashes at some point. I love mascara, but I love my lashes more. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab our stuff. I'm going to head out, and I will see you guys in just a little bit. All right, my lovelies. Hope everyone is doing okay. Today is Tuesday, February the 14th, Valentine's Day. Um, I'm currently on lunch right now. Um, let me adjust this a little bit. It's warm here today everyone um that has valentine's day plans i hope they go well me personally i don't have anything planned um i'm not a big valentine's day person like i i'm more concerned with how you treat me the other 364 days of the year versus one day out of the year 
I mean, I like gifts and stuff, but I'm not like I, I could care less. Like for me, Valentine's Day is okay, but I'm I'm more like Christmas. That's my holiday right there, baby. Christmas and Thanksgiving. Valentine's Day, I could give a shit less about. Like to me, that's just like a birthday. Like I'm just glad to see it it come, and I'm good. But don't have any plans. I'm just gonna chill at home when I get off work. Nothing to do. Nothing to see. I'm just. I know I'm the most boringest person ever. I really am. I've always been that way, even when I was a teenager. I didn't want to go anywhere or do much. So that's just me. Okay, my son got me some G G G's cupcakes for um for Valentine's Day. If you ever in Austin or in the B Cave area, make sure you check out um G G's cupcakes. Um, they have the best wedding cakes as well. So. This is what they look like. He got me two. Two is enough for me because these bad boys are like really big. And they have a lot of frosting at the top. So, yeah. I'm going to crush one of these bad boys. <clears throat> then I'm going to go take a shower and go to bed. Okay, so today is Saturday, February the 18th. Um, I am sitting here at my dining room table, not really doing anything. I uh, don't have anything planned for today. I was up late last night pricing out a set of tires and I ended, I ended up getting some from Walmart. Um, they had the best deal with the installation and, um, tire protection. So I usually go to discount tire, but discount tire was not discounting at all this time and plus i have bigger size tires so my tires are like yeah they're expensive <laughs> so um i have a size 18 tire and i my malibu was size 16 so i could get a tire for probably around 90 100 dollars now my tires are like the cheapest one that ones i saw on um, discount tire they were 127 and I didn't even recognize the brand of tire. And I'm not even familiar with tires anyway. All I know is like the the um the name brands like the Goodyears, the Dunlops, the Falcons, the Firestones, you know, those type of tires. These were like a Mojave or something. I don't know, but I ended up getting some tires from Walmart. I wasn't familiar with those either. But I did some reviews on them and Walmart did have them as a bestseller. So they ended up being like less than $100 a tire. And me, I'm an everyday traveler. I'm not, I'm, a, I'm an everyday commuter. I'm not a traveler. So tires aren't, getting a high quality brand of tires isn't that spectacular to me because my job is literally like 15 minutes away, um, which is like five miles, I think 5.8 miles away. Like it's not even far. So I don't even put a lot of miles on my SUV. So those will be in um, next Friday. I made an appointment to go at 8 a.m. to have them installed. Then I that way I could just leave and go straight to work because my work is literally like probably about half a mile or so up the street from that Walmart. So yeah, um, I'm also sitting here. I want to put you guys on to this bubble of water that was in one of my grocery pickup orders. You know how sometimes they give you free gifts? This shit is amazing. Like, I hate sparkling water. I hate sparkling sparkling water. Here in Austin, the big thing is, I don't know, it may be Texas. The big thing is Topo Chico. So, mineral water, so disgusting. People at my old job used to love it. And that shit was so disgusting white claw and all that stuff my taste i don't know my taste but it's just different but this bubbler water this shit is good like i've been drinking it so fast i for, i forgot it was sparkling water and i'm also waiting on walmart not walmart amazon to deliver i ordered a, a headband wig a human hair one body wave wig i'm ready to um my hair just this hair even though it's wash and go my hair requires a lot of, like water in it in the morning time and then I have to moisturize it because my hair dries out really fast. Like it's wet now, but probably in like a few hours it'll be completely dry. Um, so I ordered a headband wig from um, Amazon. It ended up being around 50 bucks with tax. I'll link it down below whenever I get it and I'll do a try on haul, uh, uh, try on just to let you guys see. 
I like headband wigs because my edges are, um, they go in and out sometimes and having like constant tension or friction or whatever on my hair makes my edges come out. And to be honest, I had to take a break from doing headband, wearing headband wigs because those were starting to take my edges out too. Um, my edges are just really sensitive. They always have been, um, any little thing they'll start thinning out and I really have to be, um, careful with headband wigs. I don't even want to go there with lace front wigs. I don't like lace front wigs anyway. I cannot stand seeing that little line across someone's forehead. I don't care how it's HD, triple D, 3D. I can still see it and that irritates me. I don't know. I just, I can't. I hate when someone's shooting a video and all you see is the the lace. Oh, it, it just irritates my spirit. It doesn't even look realistic. But to each his own. I personally just don't like lace fronts. The lace frontals, I hate them. Do not put that shit in my hat unless you can make the uh, yeah, lace. Once forward. that comes in, um, I will do a. I will try it on and do a quick review on it to see if it's good quality one thing about me is i can't go back to synthetic wigs they are just itchy like i have to have human hair wigs i used to be a big synthetic wig person like the the lace fronts and stuff where you cut off the lace but either the the hair was itchy or the lace was itchy it was just i cannot i cannot go back to um synthetic wigs. i also ordered some um my regular eyelashes um cluster lashes i'm gonna do my eyelashes because as you can see my real lashes are pretty they're pretty sustainable but i just don't like wearing mascara every day it's hard to get off and it doesn't always come completely off because honestly i'd rather wear lashes and just skip the mascara altogether. um i also have a battery for my eufy robot vac uh coming tomorrow uh, even though those things have a charging station that they go back to, they still require a battery. And mine wasn't, it doesn't go for very long, maybe like 10 minutes and then it's dead. So I ordered a battery, ordered a battery for that. That should be in tomorrow. Oh yeah, and I also have a Walmart grocery pickup to pick up. I picked up a few odds and then I only spent about 40 bucks. I didn't eat much. Just some stuff to get me through the rest of the week, like some lunch meat and stuff like that, cheese spinach you know so i can make me um instead of always making coffee i can make smoothies something a little bit more he healthier i'm getting kind of burnt out on coffee anyway because i think i drink way too much even though i only drink maybe a cup five days out of the week or four but that's still a lot so nothing too exciting in my day nothing major just a little odds and ends i want to do so much on the weekends but sometimes my head and my heart and my look no yeah my head and my heart is always beefing but my body and my mind are always beefing it's like by the time the weekend friday gets here i'm like yeah i want to do this this weekend and this and that and then when the weekend hits saturday morning i'm just laying in bed so i mean honestly i just give myself grace because i am a single parent i do do all of the day-to-day -day footwork you know of running a household by myself and I also ordered a pair of AirPod Pro um, 2s. Um, yeah, those should be here probably next Tuesday. I wanted to upgrade the ones that I have because I have like the second generations, the ones you that come down, that come, the first, I don't know what generation they are. I can't keep up with Apple and their generations, but the second generation, I think they're second generations. Um, those are okay, but I feel like the I need the sound quality can be a little bit better so I ordered the pros just to see the difference um I finally did my taxes um a week ago so that's good I had forgot I had forgot all about tax this was tax season honestly even though I don't really get that much of a refund anymore since Devin is over the age of night to 18. And then the IRS hasn't started. If you get earned income credit, the IRS won't start processing um, tax returns until mid-February, which is it should be almost that time. So they're not gonna. They're not. They haven't even started processing tax returns. Okay. So what what I'm doing now? 
what I'm doing now is I'm going to, I need to, um, I've been trying to customize my MacBook and figure out like what some of the features are. I'm still trying to figure out the ins and outs of MacBook, which it's really not too much different than working an iPhone, honestly. A big ass version of a iPhone, <laughs> to be honest. It, that's what I feel like it is. I just wanted to show you my um, wig that I picked up um, from Amazon. They just delivered it. Um, it came in this little cute um, silk bag. It says, love your hair, show your beauty, high quality, unprocessed human hair. Okay, so first things first, we got this cute little headband. This is blue. I love this. I've been wanting a blue headband, and I'm glad that I got this one. This one is super cute. Then they gave you, oh, these are a little bit much for me. They gave you some lashes. Yeah, these are more like, those are a lot. Those are, they're not a lot. They're cute though. I may wear them if I go out somewhere. And then they gave you these, um, this little fishnet, um, head, fishnet wig cap. I'm not a fan of the fishnet caps. You guys let me know, are the fishnet caps wig caps better for you or the regular like stocking cap wig caps because those wig caps like sometimes take my edges out too well, it came with a little strap i guess if you want to sew a strap on the back of it i'm assuming what this is what this is for yeah i may actually find a youtube video on how to do that because sometimes these wigs don't these um wig bands don't fit my hair. This is the wig. It's really soft. It's 18 inches. It's not that thick. I cannot stand a thick wig because thick wigs swallow my face because I don't know. Me and big wigs just don't get along. Um, so you have three combs, one, two combs on the side, one comb in the middle. And of course, the one comb in the back and then you have the strap to um tight okay so i'm about to run to um walmart get my pickup order before it gets too late and i was supposed to pick it up at three but it's okay walmart they'll hold it um it's 5 15 now i'm gonna stop and get Devin and i something to eat i kind of want some raisin canes but our raisin canes is so far out the way. By the time you actually get there and get home, it'll be cold. I'll probably just stop and grab us like some chicken or something. I don't know. And then um, I'm gonna come back. Home. <laughs> my lovelies i am back from um walmart and grabbing some food i decided to get some bushes chicken um if you've never been to um a bushes chicken here in um here in texas it's the thing here i'm not really a fan of it it's one of those chicken it's one of those chicken places that it's really not that great but you eat it anyway but you don't know why <laughs> because it's really not seasoned that great so, but yeah, I got Devin and I some Bush's chicken and I went ahead and um, unpacked the groceries. I'm just going to show you everything that I have right quick. Okay, so this is everything that I picked up. I'm going to start over here. I get, uh, got me some barbecue chips for my lunch this week. I know chips isn't the healthiest, but I like chips with sandwiches. Um, I picked up some of this Caramel Delight Mocha Iced Coffee. I cannot get the consistency of coffee to create whatever it is ratio when I do it on my um, Nespresso because I have the espresso pod. So I just gave up on trying to make iced coffee at home because if Starbucks can't get it right, who am I? So yeah, that's going to be for this week. I picked up a big bunch of bananas, um, some lettuce. Because I probably want to put lettuce on my sandwich too. Um, because I picked up this loaf of Italian bread. Um, so when I make sandwiches, I can toast them at work. Because we do have a toaster. Um, I was going to make some, um, some pasta 
tonight, but I think I'll save that for another day. Um, I used um, ragu, uh, ragu roasted garlic parmesan sauce, and I used five roasted diced tomatoes, among other things, but those are two of the ingredients that I use. I'll show you that recipe whenever I do it. It's really quick and easy. Um, I got two tomatoes for my sandwich. I got some red smoothie mix from um, Walmart. I only have two left, so I got another one. Um, I don't make smoothies every morning, but when I have a tasteful one, I like to have some on hand. This is just all you do. If, if you watch my previous video, all you do is just put this in. Um, this one doesn't come with vegetables, so anything like spinach or kale or anything like that, so I have to add it because the green smoothie, they were out, so this was a substitute. Yeah, just put this, your liquid, and just blend. Um, I got some more fruit smiles because we were out of fruit snacks. I got some pepper jack cheese, which is my favorite cheese besides Monster. Um, some mesquite smoked turkey breast. I got some spinach to put in this pasta that I told you guys I was going to make. I'm going to try to use that up this week before it goes bad. I end up, always end up, no, what I do is if I don't use all of this, I freeze it. Put it in a freezer bag and freeze it. Um, I picked up a pineapple because I want to eat that for work this week too. Devin will probably eat more of this than me. And then I picked up this karma water. If you guys watch McKenna Walker, she um, swears by this water for other reasons <laughs> that um, I don't need because I don't have a problem with that. But um, basically, if you want the splash, splish, splash, you know, pad, you know, down, down yonder, then you should drink this stuff. But I just want it because it's probiotic water. Yeah. And I feel like it may can help with my digestive system as I get older. I'm looking for things to help with my digestive system because things don't always um, process like they're supposed to when you get older. You know, things start going backwards. So, yeah, I got four of these. But, yeah, McKenna Walker put these in, suggested these in her video. That was not what I got these for. I got these because I wanted to try them because of the probiotic factor. So I will let you guys know how these taste. That is everything that I picked up for um, from Walmart. I'm about to eat my food and then I am about to finish watching the Upshaws. Here are my lashes that I get from um, Amazon. These are Cluster Lashes by B&Q Lash. I put these under my lash line. They come in um, sizes um, from 18 a millimeter to 16 millimeter um the 16s are cute they're a little bit much for every day but i usually use the 16s last they're really pretty when you put them on i got a lot i get a lot of compliments when i wear these if you're interested i will link them down below okay my lovelies here is the hair i put it on i was anxious to see what it looked like oh my god can you tell i'm about to be 47 years old in may oh yes honey and i am embracing every minute of it but this is the hair i did not put a headband on but i guess i can show y'all what it looks like with the headband on hold on one second let me grab one hold on one second okay so this is what it looks like with an actual headband on um you could even put like a headband over your head like like yeah so yeah, I love this hair. It is so pretty. It doesn't smell. It's super soft and super shiny. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut up and wash this romaine lettuce. Um, one thing I find that if I go ahead and cut up my produce and just wash it and cut it up and put it in the refrigerator, I'm less likely to waste it if it's already prepped and ready to go. Here, I'm just going to put it in the salad spinner. If you guys don't have a salad spinner to dry out your um, lettuce and stuff like that, I totally recommend one. Here, I'm just putting some ice cubes. I'm going to give it an ice bath for about 10 minutes. Next, I'm going to go ahead and cut up my pineapple. Devin loves pineapples and strawberries. I do too, so he'll probably eat more of this pineapple than I will. 
you guys don't judge me because I totally started um, cutting this pineapple the wrong way this is how I cut it that first slice I don't know what I was thinking but that's okay um, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it up in little um, chunks that and put it in my um, food saver container yeah I don't know what I was thinking when I cut that first piece Okay, now that I'm done cutting up my pineapple, I'm gonna go ahead and give this lettuce a quick spin. You guys, look at all this water that was still left in that lettuce. If you don't have this, if you don't have a salad spinner, I definitely suggest you get one. Um, I got mine from Burlington, so I can't link it down below. But I also love these um, Freshworks containers by Rubbermaid. If you're interested in these, I will definitely link them down below because they do extend the life of your produce a few days longer. Okay, so next I'm going to give my spinach an ice bath as well. If I did not tell you guys, I learned this trick when at my, on my very first job when I was working in a restaurant. We had a salad bar, and so the trick that they used to make the salad last longer at the salad bar was to um, soak it in ice, give it an ice bath, and that made it crispier and kept it fresh a little bit longer. I said, skirt, skirt, all niggas, skirt up, all niggas, skirt down, you acting like me, Okay, so I'm going to bag up about half of this bag of spinach because I know there is no way I'm going to use this before it goes bad. So I'm just going to freeze it and then I'm going to use it for my smoothies. Um, yeah, so if you have produce that, you know, you think may go bad before you can use it, sometimes you can uh, just freeze it and um, make throw it in a smoothie. Like if you have bananas or strawberries or something like that because that's all frozen fruit is it's just fresh fruit that was frozen so instead of throwing it away just put it in the freezer ziplock put it in the ziplock bag and save it for a smoothie okay i'm gonna open this amazon package right quick this is my um Ufi robot vac um, battery replacement i did not know that even though your um robot vac goes to the charging station when it's done to charge it still has a battery in it so you do have to replace that from time to time if you notice that your robot vac is not going for as long as it used to that means that your battery has died and you need to replace it Okay, before I replace the battery, I'm just going to pull all this um, hair and carpet fibers out of this little brush. Then I'm going to go ahead and pop this cover off. I'm going to pull out the old battery and put in the new one. And then she will be good to go. Well, he, I named my robot Vac. His name is Larry. <laughs> Alrighty, I am done with that. I'm just gonna put Larry down, press the power button, and let him do his thing, honey. Look at that. Larry said, baby, you ain't got to tell me twice. I am on it. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to give you guys a quick glimpse of my lashes that I put on. It's currently 11:30 at night, and I'm up putting on lashes. Um, these are the ones that I got from Amazon yesterday that I showed you guys. 
Um, I went pretty bold this time. Um, I did two 16s, two 14s, um, two 12s, no, one 12, and I think I did um, one 8. So that pretty much, um, I think I have like five or six cluster lashes on here. So that pretty much um, covered my whole eye. I try not to go too far in because if you go too far in, it'll irritate your, you know, your eyes and stuff. Plus, I used to work at an eye doctor, so I'm very careful. I've seen some things. So, yeah, these are under my eye line. I suggest if you're not good with lashes, don't try it until you get comfortable with it because you can really get glue in your eye and it can turn into a whole mess. Okay, I am doing another unboxing. This one is at 12 o'clock at night because... Um, I didn't realize that my AirPod Pro 2s had been delivered, so they had been on the doorstep all evening. I thank God I do not have <laughs> crappy neighbors that steal because these would have been gone too. Um, these are the AirPod Pro 2s. Um, these retail for, I think, $234 or something like that. But yeah, I love them. Um, I would definitely recommend them if you want to splurge on your AirPods. Um, I'm upgrading from the second generation, so this was really a big upgrade. So, of course, it comes with the usual paper, you know, the instructions and stuff, and then they i like these because they have the little tip on the um on the outside and when you put them on it actually sucks they actually suction into your ear and they also give you some extra tips if you have a smaller ear my ear is pretty big so they were fine with the mediums um and a charging cable and i also ordered this um uh, this case to go with them with the little keychain on the side um that you attach to it if you want to put um your airpods on your keychain this is so cute i love this little keychain and this little pouch this is so cute so i will link this down below as well if you guys are interested in purchasing it they sound really great they're a little bit more basier than the second generation but they are still um, really good quality and they have the noise canceling feature which is not a hundred percent because um they don't go as deep in your ear as they should to like completely cancel out the noise but they are pretty good when it comes to like filtering like 95 percent of the noise that you hear so I really do like these. I love this keychain and I would definitely recommend the AirPod Pro 2s if you're interested in buying them. Just be careful about the ear size because if you have smaller ears, they may not fit. Um, my ears are pretty big because my AirPod um, second generations can actually sit deep off in my ear and sometimes I feel like they're going to fall out. So if you feel the same way, I would definitely recommend them. But if you do have a smaller ear, they'll probably be too big i would at least try to try them on first okay i'm going to close out the video here i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm currently sitting in my closet right now i had to come in here and kind of organize it a little bit um i'm one of those people that i organize my clothes according to show a uh, sleeve length and color and style so that comes from my days of working in retail where we had to do floor sets like every three to six months we had to switch out colors and they gave us a floor set to go by so that's th that's another story for another day but i hope you guys did enjoy this video um please don't forget to like comment and subscribe um so you won't listen miss an upload from me because i currently don't have an upload schedule because i am a full-time working single mom of a 19 year old with autism so that takes up a lot of my time but if you hit that notification bell you're never missing upload from me promise hopefully you too and i will catch you guys in the next video see you soon stay safe and be blessed